If you are watching this, we have yet to meet. My name is Death. I have worked the same job for the past thousand years, and my work still haunts me. Some days are slow, some days are vigorous, but every day is demanding. I collect souls. The busiest time of my career was in the late 30s and early 40s. Humans often refer to this as the Holocaust. This is Paula and Warner Merminger. I met with Paula's husband before this film was shot. I met both of them a short time later. Before Paula was collected, she gave up custody of Liesel and Warner. They were sent to live with this couple, Hans and Rosa Huberman. Hans is a silver-eyed and caring man to most people, his son of which does not approve. His sympathies happen to land him in trouble with one of my biggest clients, Adolf Hitler. Adolf is the leader of the Nazi party, and has a nation of followers that are willing to perform any task that he wishes. This is Liesl Merminger and her best friend Rudy Steiner. They both live on Himmel Street in a small town called Mulching. Liesl tends to have reoccurring nightmares about the death of her brother Warner, who died on his way to Mulching. She often discusses these nightmares with a young man named Max Vandenberg. Max is a Jew that is hiding from the Nazis in the Huberman's basement. Unfortunately, he has to stay in this basement for an inordinate amount of time, a risk being found and prosecuted along with the Huberman family. Max grew up as a fist fighter, and often dreams of fighting one-on-one -on -one against Adolf Hitler in a boxing match, when he's not painting over the hateful text of Mein Kampf, of course. Liesl and Rudy join a group of thieves, led by Arthur Berg, a fair leader who got along with all the other members. Here you can see Arthur and Rudy sorting through potatoes that they stole. This photo is taken before Arthur left town, and Victor Schimmel took over as the group's leader. The thieves didn't only steal food, particularly Liesl. She was notorious as being the book thief. One woman that knows about Liesl's theft is Ilza Herman, the mayor's wife. She first witnessed Liesl steal a book from a book burning on Hitler's birthday. Ilza owns a library and offers Liesl books from the library on a regular basis. However, Liesl finds stealing books to be more rewarding than having them given to her. During World War II, German children and teenagers were required to attend Hitler Youth, an organization designed to indoctrin them into the Third Reich through physical training and eventually into army training. In the book, Rudy's father makes the mistake of denying the Nazis' request to have Rudy join their army training, and is forced to suffer severe consequences. Although there's a lot in between, this book is really just a story about a girl, some words, an accordionist, some fanatical Germans, a Jewish fist fighter, and a lot of thievery. You might be asking yourself if I've met everyone in this book. This is not the question you need to ask. Trust me, I have. I meet everyone. The question you're meaning to ask is when.